Hello everyone! In this 20th lesson of how to make your first game in Unity, we are going to create the second level as well as a transition to the second level. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So, creating levels is kind of fun when it comes to game development. I think everybody, to some degree, must enjoy it. Well, to, to some degree, I guess, because otherwise we wouldn't be here. So let's start by actually renaming this sample scene finally. And I'm going to call it level 001. Now, I'm kind of going to cheat a little bit, and I'm going to use that as a base for the next level. So I'm going to hold Control, press D, and I'm going to rename that to level 002. Let's open up level 002. So first things first, I want to be able to differentiate between this and level 1 because I'm not going to do much to the design of this level. The intention of this video is to kind of take us from a completed level 1 to a completed, uh, or rather a start of level 2, I should say, um, and being able to respawn in level 2 and going to level 2. I'll demonstrate all the problems that we have along the way. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do is to give us a, a definitive different feel to the level, I'm actually going to change it from red to blue. So I'm definitely, definitely 100% in scene number well, four in this case it'll be, but this is level two. So I'm going to change everything to blue. There we go. Let's also move a couple of these things around a bit just so as it very clearly is a different sort of level. Uh, let's move them over there and let's probably move the coins around a little bit. Let's put this one here, let's put this one over here and let's put this one over there. Okay so now we definitely have level number two. So if we were playing this, yep that's all pretty good. So if we wanted to resume, we indeed can. However, if we restart, we end up going back to level number one. So this is where we have to create a global level script. So what we're going to do, the sequence of what we're going to do in this video is create that global level script, apply it to level one, and then apply it to level two so as everything becomes seamless. So let's go to our scripts folder. Let's right click, create, C sharp script global level. Now we can use this to our advantage. So if I just go, there we are, we have it open now. So we can use this to our advantage because if we set the variable in this particular script to starting at three, it means that we can then use that variable in multiple other scripts and we can always reference this script if we ever change levels. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's start by adding a variable. So public and we're going to do the same as what we've done with the coins here. We're going to make it static. It's going to be an integer and we'll call this level number and by default like I say we'll make it equal to three semicolon. Now what we need to do is we need to be able to update whatever number this will be and I guess you don't necessarily need this to occur. You could put it in update if you want to but for all intents and purposes we will have it in here to kind of see what the actual number is. So level number in fact we will change that because we'll need to add in a variable. So public int and we'll just call it internal num. Again you don't necessarily have to do this it's just a case of being able to see in the inspector panel what the numbers are and we can probably remove it later on in development. So what we're doing here is saying that internal num equals level number and the reason we're doing this is because a static value will not appear in our inspector panel so if we ever want to have a quick reference to look at we can just do that. So let's save global level. Let's head back into Unity and firstly let's start with the 
main menu. In fact, no, let's add this scene first. So let's go to build settings and add open scenes. Now you can see that we are going down the order. So three, four. So now that's in there, let's head to our scenes. Let's go to main menu, save scene uh, level two, I should say. Now, this is where things become interesting. So we're going to add our global level script to our menu control. And you should be able to see right there, internal num. So if you press play, it will change to three. Now, if you recall, three is the C number that we travel to on um, the main game itself. So that is the very first level. So here we can either keep it as two because this button will always start a new game or we can actually change it to global level dot level number and save. So rather than put an actual number here, we're reference, referencing a number that is in a different script. And like I say, we can use that line of code, the exact same line of code in many, many different ways now. So if we go to respawning, let's now change that from three to global level dot level number and save. So again, this will always be three unless we change it. So the reason why it's so important to do this in the respawning script is because we now don't need multiple scripts to do the same thing. We can just use one single script and change this variable depending on what scene we want to go to. Same thing will apply to the global, not the global coins, the... Um, I've lost the script. So this one, obstacle collide, that will always stay two. So this is what I want, this is what I'm trying to explain here. This needs to stay as two because that scene is always going to be static. It's always going to be the same scene that we go to whenever we um, actually hit something that you know kills us or whatever. And it's then that scene that sends us to the correct scene because we'll have set it prior to the game starting the new level. So in order for all of this to come together correctly, we now need to go to level complete. And remember, we've already set this as saying the scene management is up there, which means that yes, we can indeed go to our next scene. However, before we do that, we need to add one to our global level script. So global level, dot level number plus equals one semicolon after we've added one to it we now need to send ourselves to that level so that means we can say scene manager dot load scene and in brackets global level dot level number semicolon and save. Now we have to make sure that we do all of this correctly. It's always a good idea to apply that global level script to any scene that would need to reference it. So in this case we have it on the main menu because we're going to need it there because that takes us to uh, scene number three which is level one. So let's go to our scenes, let's go to level one and let's apply the script there as well. And there it is somewhere. I've lost a global level. So that goes on our globals. That should be down the bottom. Yep. Now let's go to level two. Make sure we save our scenes. And let's do the same there. We need to attach our script to the globals object. And there it is. Make sure we save. Let's go to our respawn level and I'm just going to attach it to the camera on this scene. Again, because there's not a lot going on in this scene, it doesn't really matter too much. So there's the respawning script and there is the global level script. So save. Now, one thing I will say when testing this, if we go to level two, 
and try testing level two and restart in level two, the problem is this script will always load up three because we've not predefined it to load up scene number four. So just to show you what I mean. So if we do that, restart, it will take us back to scene number one. However, if we go through the sequence of events that would be the person playing the game, then yep, yeah, we're here. We're on level one. Let's collect all these coins. Level complete. Excellent. And okay, so you can see already that we do have a little bug. And you can see down the console that we have an error. So we've come to a point where we have um, possibly known as an infinite loop where it's just kind of cycling through things that it really, really shouldn't. And I think the reason that is happening is because we are keeping our coins and not resetting them. So I'm now thinking the best thing for us to do is when, before, no matter what, under any circumstance, if we take ourselves to the respawn scene, I think that will erase any possible errors. So I'm gonna to go to console, clear, back to project, Let's go to our script for completion. So level complete. And rather than go there, I'm thinking we should just go to scene two. So what this will do instead is it will add one to our scene number and then take us to the respawn scene. That respawn scene will take us to the correct level. So let's save once again, head back to Unity. And as I said, it's still worth pointing out that even if we try level two now, it's still going to respawn us in level one because we've not followed that sequence. Sequencing is, it's so important. It's so important. So yeah, once again, let's collect all five coins. And now we should head to level two. Excellent. So if we pause and click restart, it will indeed take us to level two. Cool. And let's quit to menu. And it does take us there. Now, if we press play game, it will take us to level two. So in a lot of ways, this is kind of, let me stop that there. This is kind of a very base foundation for saving and loading, which is what we're going to go into next tutorial. But realistically, we don't want to be able to go to level two if we've quit to menu. We want to go to the first level at all times on play game. So what I think we need to do is whenever we quit to menu, we always need to set the number of what level we're going to back to three. So let's go to our pause. And uh, whenever we quit level, let's have the global level dot level number equals three and save. And now that will mean everything is cycling perfectly through our game. So in the next video, we are going to work on some saving and loading. So I want it to be a case of, if we get to level two, if we press play game, we go to level one. If we select load game, it actually takes us to level two, even when we've quit the game. So that's what saving and loading is all about. So until that next video, thank you very much for watching guys.